What a beautiful rice. Hey everyone, I'm Kevin, Kevin and, and this is Quok Deck. And this is a bowl of white rice. And today we're gonna determine what is the best thing to put on this bowl of white rice. Yeah. And the first suggestion comes from Grace Erin 97 fried egg, green onion, chili oil. So in my opinion, a good fried egg to put on rice is a crispy, straight crispy fried egg. Ah, it popped. Yeah. I'm gonna use this oil to, to kind of baste it like a steak. Nami. Anaya, man. Nami. Anaya, man. This is almost like a ball egg. Yeah. You see this? Yeah, that's a ball egg. What a strange egg. Probably ball. play ping pong with yeah. this egg until, for one shot. Like a smaller football egg. Yeah. So I'm gonna sprinkle it with oil. Some flaky salt on it, of course. Some black pepper. Mmm. 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 You see that jiggly? Jiggly. It yeah, jiggly, a jiggly like puff. So do you mind washing these scallions? I would, I would mind. Scallion, my favorite type of alien. Onion. Alien? Excellent. Put some scallion on this egg. The best chili oil in the business. Laonganma chi cri crispy chili and oil. Heck yeah, bro. So this chili oil, but it also crispy. It also has crispy bits. Straight up. And I tried many chili crisps. Crisps? Crisps. I think this is the best one. And to help me judge all these things, I brought in a friend of the show, Mr. Benjamin. Hey. Say Back by popular Benjamin. demand. Yeah. Chili, egg, crispy oil with a sca sca scallion. I'm into that. I made it good. Zero leaky white. Yeah, yeah this is straight up. Okay. Cheers. Mm. That's on God. That's what's up. That's no cap. That's gonna be tough to beat, in mm. my opinion. Yeah. And we're, we're rocking with the jasmine rice here. No mm. other rice in our town. Currently, it stands as the best thing to put on rice. You see that? Oh, straight up, yeah. bro. That's, That's a crazy. crazy graphic that is above us right now. It's not a graphic, it's we're there in oh, reality. Yeah. No, yeah, it's more of like a, it's a real life graphic. Yeah. That's the best thing to put on rice currently. Will it be topped by anything else? Let's find I out. I guess we'll see. Rice, boys. All right, this person said strawberry yogurt. Yes. <laughs> so I know where this is going, and this is going to the to mistake territory. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think it's probably like a nice little dessert situation, but let's let's figure it out. You can do it. Oh wow! Yeah. And what I Just drop it, it in, yeah. drop it in, mix it. No, put it on top. Put it on we'll top. We'll have it like Schmoodle this it first. Out. Gentle smoothing. A smoothing. I could smoothing you right now like this. No. And I want to. I don't. It's not up to you. It is. It's really not. It is. No. <laughs> All right, let's go to town. Strawberry yogurt rice. Mmm. Bro, they know. This person knows. It's creamy, and it's got some nice chewy texture from the rice. You, th you said it's a mistake initially. Well, I thought it was going into that territory. It wasn't. I retract my statement. It's not a mistake. It's, it's, just, it's a steak. It's a steak, yeah. yeah. It's not better than the egg, though. No. No way near the egg. There's a zero chance this beat the egg. Let me just say that right it now. It doesn't beat the egg. Okay. It doesn't beat the egg. Okay. You know what beats the egg? A whisk or a fork. Okay, next. This person said, tuna plus mayo. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I went harpooning with the boys last weekend. What boys? My I'm, boys. I'm your only boy. You don't know how to handle a harpoon. Is, you don't bro. have boys. You shoot it. I was with you all week and you never, have you ever mentioned any. Sometimes I go tuna. to the bathroom. So my bathroom is not the North Nordic Sea. But it has potential. You know the people who take like a knife? Oh, yeah. And no, but I feel like those people are goofy. Yeah. That's way goofier. QP mayo, straight up top mayo ever. It's Scallion. expensive though. Sure, Have you seen how much QP mayo is? Yeah, it's pretty expensive. It's like four bucks. Okay, I'm gonna hit you down with the vinegar. I told you, bro. Natura sign, bro. Biologis. Stop. So nice job cutting these scallions, by the way. You, you say speed chopping, <laughs> you're not actually chopping them. Are we allowed to use soy sauce? I feel like we're going too far astray if we put soy sauce on it. Okay, let's put a little soy yeah. sauce on it. Fuck it. Give me that soy, bro. Give me that dark soy. And that's on God, bro. And now for the smoothest transition ever to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. You guys probably know BetterHelp at this point. BetterHelp is an online platform and app where you can get online therapy 
with licensed professionals that are trained to listen and give you helpful advice. Simple as that. I'm actually currently trying to get therapy the traditional route, and let me tell you, it's difficult. You gotta wait a long time, it's also pretty expensive, and it's just unfortunately quite a mess. And I think BetterHelp is a pretty good solution for someone who's looking to get into therapy in a more accessible way. It's definitely easier. All you have to do is fill out a basic questionnaire about your situation, and you're gonna be matched with a professional therapist within 48 hours in most cases. And then the good part is that you can plan out the sessions whenever you want to. You can have phone calls, video calls, just regular messages. It's just a way more flexible and accessible therapy. If you wanna try that, you can use my code for a 10% discount. It's betterhelp.com slash quok, or you can go to the link in the description, betterhelp.com slash quok. You're gonna get a 10% discount. You can give it a shot. If you don't like it, just cancel it. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring the video. You drink it? I drink, I drink straight. Yeah. Kicker man, bro. You like shouldn't. This, yeah, you bro. shouldn't. I eat. I go. Th I run. I run through these kicker mans once a week, bro. You shouldn't Sorry. drink it. Sodium, bro. Shout out kidney stones. <laughs> you see, you're joking. <laughs> Have you had an onigiri, like a tuna onigiri? It's kind of this. <laughs> Relax. I don't think it's better than the egg, bro. What do you think? I do not think it's better than the egg. Then because then it's a little insipid and and dry. I would say that the texture of the egg was better. Okay. And it was like a more full mouth experience. I agree with this that. This is just a food you eat and it tastes fine. Yeah, it tastes good. But the egg had like a little crunchy yeah. from the chili oil. Also, it was a little deep fried. It was a little schmancy schmancy. Exactly, yeah. Clear up and that's on God, bro. Egg stays up. We need to be more entertaining. Next up, we have butter and lime. So actually, a lot of people said this to me, butter and lime. I didn't know what it was. Don't have act you... like you have an audience. So is this a thing? Do the, you, the are only you aware of this? The only experience I have with butter nearby rice is when I go to a tepanyaki restaurant. Mm. And sometimes they put, put butter, a little knob of butter, butter in, the rice. in the rice as and they're it frying it. makes it good. And I really like it, bro. It's yeah. probably my favorite fried rice. Shit. Not that close. Don't get that close to it. No, no. <laughs> so that's too much butter. If you if you don't know it, uh, people at home, if you do this shit to the lime, it's a little more juicy. There's no way that generates juice. This looks like it ha could be a thing. Yeah. Butter rice. Fuck. I'm, I feel I feel my mouth wanting this, and I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. So eat it. I didn't eat shit. So eat this. Ah. Ah. What? What? What happened? What the fuck? What happened? Too much butter. What? I like this. Oh, bro. Get a non-buttery. You snacked down that butter, Did bro. You, you're such a little baby. <laughs> Just eat it. Mm. I like this. Rice, boys. Chris Nistor said chili con carne. So let's make chili con carne. Dutch oven, olive oil, a straight ground beef in there, salt, pepper. I'm removing this beef, some pancetta, yeah, pancetta. Onion, bell pepper, I'm gonna add this beef back in. Just a whole bunch of garlic. And now we're gonna spice it up. Some salt, pepper, this is a Mexican smoked paprika. Some garlic powder, put some MSG in this fucking guy. Bunch of tomato paste, some tomato, water, beans, with the juice and everything, I don't care. Ah, shit. I'm dropping a bouillon cube. And now my secret ingredient that I never used before, but I saw a YouTube video about it. Beer. Yeah. Now we let this simmer for an hour. This is Kevin with his chili in his hand. Hey, Kevin's famous chili. Don't drop it. <laughs> I'm not gonna drop it. Hey, Kevin, don't drop the chili. <laughs> I, I'm, not a, I'm not an incompetent. I Competent. didn't drop it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, there. That's the secret to a good chili. You gotta, you gotta give it time mm. and love. Especially, I made it for you with love. Thanks. Yeah. You love me. I love you. Check out this chili, bro, and don't tell me it's not beefy. Yeah, it looks beefy. Because it's straight beefy. Sour cream. Scallion. Mm. That's what's up. You burned. No, you burned your tongue? Fuck! You gotta blow it. Oh. It's just a perfect, like, it's healthy, it's, it's complex, tastes good, it's pretty easy to make. Yeah, it's good. It's good? You're not like, this is some good shit, like, 
So I don't know. I, I need like more spicy. So I kind of fucked up because I was supposed to add a chipotle and adobo, oh. but uh, I didn't have it. So what do you think? Best for now? No. Bro. So that, I'm not going to take that actually. But I'm just saying that in my cooking show, this will be down in the trenches. Really? No. no. <laughs> so what do you like more about the egg? Taste. Chili rain supreme. Hey Benji, can you guess what the next thing is? Strawberries, bananas, blueberries. Oh! <laughs> Shit. Oh. oh my god. Oh. That's what I said. You don't want to help me or what? I don't. Put blueberries on it. Why did you do this stupid shit? I thought it might be cool. I thought it won't be cool. I thought it might be cool. It's crazy how none of this will be in the real video. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever see that. This is gonna be in it. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's Trust not. me, it's gonna be in the video. I doubt it. Dog prairie. <laughs> Dog prairie. Tooth fairy. Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Sour cherry. Cherry, oh. Christmas, Mary. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> so when I die, I'm gonna be in a cemetery. Terry. And you also, you'll have to write an obituary. Mary. Let's eat this shit. That's it? No honey or some shit. Or, yeah, right? Or like a cream. There should I be feel a like creamy You put thing. a cream here. Like the, yo bro, the yogurt. The yogurt oh, and the this yogurt on here. Top. Yeah, sure. Let's just try this raw first. Someone in Cancun ate this. You think? Yeah. This makes no sense. This is not a real thing. Yeah, it's not a good it's thing. It's a dry thing. You need a cream thing. You need some kind of a cream. Banana, the only thing that kind of makes sense here. Yeah. Because it's creamy. So I'd you... much rather like a mango sticky rice. Oh. Next. Thai green curry. And I never oh. made Thai green curry in my life. I want to tell them the dish. You need to be in the video. You I am. Go in, you okay. back. I'm just saying this is showbiz and that's not how things are done around here. Just tell, tell them what the next dish is. The next dish. It's Thai green curry, green chilies, shallots, shallots, chalamet, garlic, lemongrass. I was thinking about uh, upgrading my processor from Intel to this. One of the wackest jokes you ever made. These are lime leaves. I've seen some people add them, some people don't. I'm gonna add a little bit. This is shrimp paste. It smells through the glass. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> Frank them. Galanga. And I was looking for fresh galanga. Oh. No, never mind. It sounds like a country in a sci fi book. Bro, why don't you toast me up some whole cumin Check seeds? Check me out, bro, and I got you right now. And some coriander seeds. Let me stop you right there, bro. Check this out. What a stank ass scissors this is. Come on, you can do it. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Don't, I'm, this is me. So toast it until it's fragrant. So let it be for a second. So stop micromanaging me. Them, you're burning Holy them. shit, stop micromanaging me. <laughs> so these are almost done. Based on experience. No, not all of them. So you're gonna wanna pour not all of them on the... Pour them to the camera, you stupid. No, no. <laughs> sea salt. What, are you scared of it? You're scared of the sound. Maybe it's loud. I know what tickles me timbers. So just cooking this paste a little bit, so kind of the raw nature of it just goes away. You wanna hit it with some coconut? I'll hit it, bro. I'll snack you down with this fucking coconut milk. <laughs> Shit! No! Well, you can't block me. I can't. I won. I won, and that's on God. Drop in my chicken. Add in some eggplants, some palm sugar, and some fish sauce. <laughs> some water to thin it out. A little bit. And now we wait. Test, test, test. All right. Let's bounce. So the camera decided to die in the middle of us discussing this Thai green curry. And now we have it here. <laughs> wait, let me show you the fucking, this liquid. This is what's up. I put some Thai basil in it. You didn't see that? It smelled very nice. I was saying that the texture of this needs to be rather liquidy. I don't know shit about this. Smack me down, dada. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's up with this Thai green curry. This is some good shit, bro. <coughs> 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 
That's some picante, bro. It's the most flavorful out of everything. Yeah, but does complexity equal superiority? That's the question. If someone made it for me, maybe I'd choose this over the chili. Right. But so, like an everyday thing, I'd choose the chili. Mm. I would also choose the chili as an everyday thing. That I would choose this to eat it once every blue moon. Exactly, and have a really good time. Right. We agree that the chili is the most superior thing you can put on rice. Out of these choices. Out of these choices. Exactly. So let us know what else we should try in the next, next video. episode video. Never let me go. <laughs> okay, bye. I got a dusty. <laughs>